Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne and I just watched Fetish Factory on Amazon Prime Video streaming and I'm going to talk about it. The movie is essentially about this traveling show, I suppose, of women that will do a floor show, do some burlesque, and then at the end of the night they will pick specific gentlemen who seem to be frequent flyers that have very particular tastes of which some include having their makeup done, some include foot worship, some include um, the flasher, which is funny because the guy's dressed up like a flasher with a trench coat, but also his thing is flash photography, him doing it as well as the woman doing it. They're all delightfully pin up. Everything's kept very low tech. There's nothing allowed like cell phones or anything past the 80s and technology, which is pretty neat. As this is all going on, of course, something weird happens in LA where this is located that random, all seemingly men are turning into zombies and they're trying to figure out why they're trying to figure out how they can stay alive. And they're kind of trapped in this building where everything is being held. I'll kind of leave it off there as this is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? I am a huge fan of just the pinup aesthetic. I think it's timeless and classic and amazing. And you're going to put that with zombies. And that's like, th that's, that's my soul. I love it so much. So thank you. Obviously the person that made this movie just loves the genre, which they make a lot of uh, comparisons to movies and quotes of movies. And I really feel like me personally, I bonded with the character Betty just because she's obviously styled after Betty Page, but also her love of movies in general, particularly horror movies, was just like, yes, finally. So that was quite enjoyable about it. I felt like the burlesque scenes were really cool. I had fun watching them. Like, how are you not going to enjoy a bunch of beautiful women doing a strip tease and ventriloquism, although I hate dummies, but regardless, it was really nice. What did I dislike about this movie? As I said, this is a very B, 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 B movie, possibly lower if, no, that's not nice. B movie will stick with. The zombies seemed kind of strange to me. At some points, their eyes would light up white as if they had added an this effect and they meant to have it the whole time, but it only worked at certain angles. But then we learned there's a whole thing about that. But before it was explained, it was kind of cheap looking to me. And because I didn't know the reason for it, I was kind of taken out of it. I felt like for a zombie movie, I could have done with a whole lot more gore. I love gore. Well known fact, I'm a gore hound. That's going to be something I complain about because I do want to see those special effects and I want to see you know, big gaping bite wounds and guts and blood. And this didn't really do it for me. But I also feel that they balanced that out with the burlesque aspect. That was enjoyable. <sighs> I love Betty Page. Regardless, I probably would rate this movie like 2.5 out of 5. I feel like it is worth a watch. It is a different spin on the whole zombie mythos, especially when you get to the latter part of the movie and the end when they kind of let you know more so what's going on and give you a little bit more of an explanation. It was different. I mean, they were very fast moving zombies, which I'm not the biggest fan of because it does make me anxious because, you know, they shouldn't move that fast. If they're going to eat you, like, just, we want a fighting chance. You know what I mean? So, if you do want to check out the movie, it is on Amazon Prime. So, have you seen this movie? What did you think about this movie? Who is your favorite pinup star? Do you like Dita Von Because I love her. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. Like the video if you did like the video. Again, leave a comment. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. We have a channel on iTunes now. Also, we're on the Far Sided Network. Please give us all some love and 
I'm not going to make a pun about fetishes because that's too easy. See you later, guys. Thank you.